So let's talk about this because when you want something really bad and desire is the actual like impetus to get us to move and to change and to lean in and to invest and to learn and to change your habits and to like have some awareness and look like, Hey, I'm not happy. I want this thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But when we want something and we want it really bad, what we're actually saying in our state of being is I don't have it. Yeah. And, and that's the fucking tricky part, right? Like, because then if, and this is like, this is why I study Neville. So I listen to him whenever I, I, I make time to listen to him. I have one book that I've read. Maybe I just read one book for a year and a half. I refuse to read anything else. And then I became really, really rich that year. And I, I came to the real understanding that we're like total conscious creators. And if we can move ourselves into the state of, I already have it yeah. and impress that in our, in our mind, it must reflect out here. As a matter of fact, that is the only way things show up. Yeah. So I used to go, I'd be driving in my car on the way to getting, I don't know, whatever it was, a, a tanning after the gym. And then I would, I would be freaking out so much in my mind. Anxiety, anger about this or that, that I would stop myself at the Chinese restaurants. I love Asian food. Oh my God. And I would take the piece of, you know, when you sit down and eat some fast soup, whatever they have, those little papers and I would t- flip it over and I would start, okay, what's the worst thing that could happen? And I would have to get it on my, out of my brain. I would take, sit down and write it down and see it and turn it around and then install, 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 repeat, rep- repetition. Let me get in this state. Let me just block out the whole world and just, and I, and I, I did this cause I really fucking wanted to prove it to myself. Like, I didn't want to have this manifestation sometimes on a whim. Well, fluke. Ooh. No, I wanted to be, I wanted the system so that I could do it every time. And I still have to remind myself daily. Yeah. And after I manifested all this crazy shit, that all this crazy shit in my world is that process done over and over and over and over. It's the same system. Doesn't it get, can I go and do something more exciting? No, read your affirmations, do your gratitude journal, impress and impress, impress. So the state that you're really after, Samantha, is I am a highly paid fitness coach. Write that down. I'm so happy and grateful. I am a highly paid fitness fucking coach. I am a highly paid book, solid, sought after, booked in advanced, highly paid coach. That's the state. So words, words move you into the feeling state. Repetition moves you into the impresses. Visualization. So I, I made a post on Instagram over the weekend that said sometimes the best thing you can do is to relax. Because the opposite is like, I want it, I need it, I don't have it. Push, 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 push. You're just, you're going further down that path of I don't have it. And sometimes the most productive thing you can do is to stop everything, quiet your body, relax your body, and start to visualize, I already have this right now. And fuck your senses right up. I'm serious. Fuck yourself right up, man. And just, I know it's hard. This, this is the hard part, right? Because you're like, oh my God, I wake up and the kids are there and whatever, making noise. And I'm like in Italy, do, do, do. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. There's, there's real life happening right now here, which is very loud sometimes in your face. And then there's, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to double down on this freaking law. And I'm going to prove it to myself. And that's really the work. It really is. 